everybody, my name is Shoelace, filling in for Zool, and today we're going to be unboxing the G19S, made by Logitech. So here's me unboxing this set. Um, you know, it's, it's a nice box, it has some nice containment, so it's not going to get damaged or anything. I kind of appreciate how they designed the box, it's like really well packaged, so it's going to take up literally no space if you want to store it in a closet somewhere at all. And here we have the item that I cannot pronounce at all, the rest rest. So here we have it out of the box. So uh, the uh, material is quite nice, nice jagged edges, it's a nice QWERTY keyboard setup, and number pads right there. Um, if we look over onto the right side of the screen we have the nice macro keys, which are really close to the WASD keys, so that's really useful if you have any hardcore gaming moments. Um, up top we have the game mode button. This is especially useful if you're like in a high-end MMO because then it'll disable the Windows key so that you don't get all tabbed out of your game. So, up here we have the LCD control panels. These aren't exactly touch screen like some of the other ones that you'll see on the market, but it just means they're going to be more reliable than the standard touch screen. Over here we have the sound wheel. This is one of my favorite features of the keyboard because I really appreciate not having to mash buttons repeatedly. It's nice to just be able to swiftly roll it up and down. So, you know, you have a nice control over it. Next to it, you have the mute button. That is very useful in case you want to mute any features really quickly. Above it, here are the media controls in case you want to change the settings on iTunes really quickly. Uh, the arrow keys and the WASD keys are temperamented differently, so you know they'll be more noticeable on the keyboard, and they'll also be a little bit cleaner and last a little bit longer. So all in all, the material is very nice on the keyboard, so you'll be able to mash them as many times as you feel like. Um, I really have no problem with the material of this keyboard. But one last thing, I did mention that it was a membrane keyboard earlier. What this means is that it's not exactly mechanical, you're going to have to push all the way down on the key for it to respond, so that will cause a slight disadvantage for you in the end. Okay, now that we've finished all of that, we can look at the back. So as you can already see, there are two USB ports located on the front of the keyboard, and that's going to be useful in case you have any controllers and whatnot. Um, on the back, you have the kickstands, it is standard of any keyboard that you find on the market. Um, what I really like about this keyboard though is the audio tracks on the bottom. This will allow you to quickly and easily just run your wires through so that it's not laying over your hand while you're doing any gaming. Uh, nice rubbering bottoms so that it's not going to be slipping and sliding everywhere you go. One thing that you need to note for this keyboard is that it has its own separate powering system. So you can't just plug it in with a USB, you gotta have a wall slot in order for you to put it in. Now that all that unboxing crap is dealt with, let's look at it when it's fully plugged into the computer. Now as you can see, the Logitech gaming software is fully integrated with this thing. Um, it has different programming for macro keys, which is just absolutely perfect. It's extraordinary, so easy to learn, and you'll find yourself being able to make the most advanced commands easily. It also displays different profiles so that you can easily switch between them so that you can have macros for different games at different moments so that you never have to keep on reprogramming them. Another thing to note is that each of them has their own profile and each profile has its own different coloring. The LED lights in the back set of the computer are the most advanced that I've ever seen. Fully customizable color that you can change with the gaming software and it can go for each different profile and there you have it, you have purple for Zool, isn't that nice? Okay, here we have the wrist rest. It is made of a fabulous type of material. I have no idea what it is. All I know is that it keeps your palms sweat free for long periods of time because of the new S models that they're coming out with Logitech. It's just, it's just great. I mean, there's nothing wrong with this. So, here we have the LCD screen. Um, well, let's be fully honest here. It's kind of a gimmick. The technology for the software just isn't there yet. There's so little support for it that really it's just kind of a waste of money to have this additional feature aside with like the rest of the keyboard. Okay, now I am filming this post a week of use and now I'm going to list out some pros and cons to do with this keyboard. 
The pros are that the lighting and all the features, the material is absolutely fabulous. The problem with the keyboard is A, that it's membrane, and B, that the LCD screen is not fully functional. Um, other than that, all in all, this is a great keyboard, and I hope that you check it out. So, tell me what you think of the Shoelace Special. Leave a comment below, let me know, and I will respond immediately. Or, perhaps Zoo will, if he ever finds out who I am. Now, please stay tuned, I will be back with more. I've not been Zul. Have an excellent day.